I would like, first of all, I would like to thank you for your time. It's a big, big pleasure to have you here. And just for my organization, for our organization on this German squad, I know you have you have nothing from it. Um, so, bro, I'm gonna give the word to you over. Uh, you got you got everything, bro. It's your time. Um, thank you very much, bro. I'm very, very excited. So, guys, let's please turn on our cams. Um, let's let's be let's be focused on this today's call and be grateful for Luke's time. Thank you very much, bro. Let's get it, bro. Right. If I can take all the time, I'm going to take two hours, bro, if you don't mind. No, just kidding. Um, I was super grateful for being on this call, super grateful for you reaching out to me. I remember the first time, bro, I saw you was not in person. It was actually on the flyer with like SpongeBob. And I was like, holy shit, it was like the craziest flyer I ever saw. Um, But then I started following direct like immediately. And for the last few months, right, I think it's almost like one and a half year that I've been following you. You've been one of the most consistent guys, hardworking guys, and, and I don't even see you physically, right? And that's a good sign if you have a leader like him working so hard. And I can see it because he's posting all the time, right? He's showing what he's doing. And I think that's one of the most important things. Um, So, bro, I th thank you so much for bringing me on this call. Uh, I think you all were on the call as well with Daniel Ramos, if I'm not mistaken. Probably some of you uh, remember some faces. But yeah, so Tarek asked me for a lot of things to talk about. And um, I was like, damn, where where should I start, right? What, what do you want me to talk about first? And I think one of the first things that I wanted to talk about is something that you just talked about, right? Because I understand German a little bit. Um, I heard you saying about FTP, all the stuff we are creating. But what I've been observing, right, in, in especially Germany, is that there is a very big team culture, right? There's a very big team system. There, there's everything big. But I think for you guys, the next level would be to build the momentum up from the bottom, to build the culture up from the bottom, which, which definitely starts with you, right? So one of the things that I learned the last three years, and now that I hit chairman, right, is uh, everything changed when I started understanding that if you have people that join for money, that they will leave for money. If you have people that will join for personal development, that will join for growth and join for impact, they will also stay for that. And I mean, you guys in Journey, I've yeah, seen it a lot, right? People leaving, doing other stuff and all that bullshit. I think it's very important to understand that whatever happened in our organization, leaders leaving, news hitting us it didn't impact us at all because we were so united we were so in this family feeling in this in this family culture and that's also one of the things that Tarek asked me to talk about is like why did I do this right why did I go chairman and I talk about chairman a lot I talk about vision a lot why because vision is something that we can see with our eyes closed and I love to see with my eyes closed because Success is something that just doesn't make any sense. But if you talk about senses, it's true because with our five senses, success is not capable to, to accept, right? It's something that's beyond it. So, you know, you probably all know my story. And I actually made a PowerPoint a long time ago that, uh, that I did for our organization on, on my journey because I think the most important thing for 2024 because 2023, for some people, have been an amazing year. For some people, it's been a, a rough year. It's been a tough year. But I think it's very important to understand that, in my honest opinion, 2025 will be the, the real big breakthrough. 2024 will be the preparation, right? And will be the year where the people will be chosen who will have a breakthrough in 2025. Because I've been seeing, you know, a little bit of company momentum. I've been seeing our team momentum. I've been seeing personal momentum, but industry momentum has its cycles as well. And that is something that, you know, I'm chairman now, I'm in the chairman chat as well. I've been hearing things. And, you know, I remember the first time I got in the chairman chat, we were sitting there with like 300, 200 people at the office, checking the chat. And the things that they are saying there, the things that I'm seeing is we're just at the beginning. We're, we're literally just at the beginning because I was with my mentor today and we talked about, you know, it's an old leader that's in the company. I don't want to talk about his name, but I remember that in his first three years, it took him three years to get to P2000. 
but it took him one and a half year to get from P2000 to chairman 750. And I was thinking like the last like weeks and last months and reflecting and thinking a lot, but just understand that whatever is happening with the crypto market in the next couple of weeks as well, I believe that 2024 is a year where you should prepare yourself already right now, first of all. But what does preparation mean? Most people think preparation starts with events and tours and all that stuff. Preparation starts with vision, to be honest. Preparation always starts with vision. Preparation always starts with, you know, you're not a leader if you're not going forward. You're not a leader if you don't have a vision. You're not a leader if you don't create stuff that is not there yet, right? And I've been observing this, you know, I'm a, I'm a very observing guy and I've been observing this with so many big people, not only in IM, not only in, in network marketing, but in so many businesses, people that lead by example, by understanding that everything that gets created inside of this world starts within your mind, always, right? But when you have the vision for yourself, when you have your, your goal for yourself, I think what's most important is to to really get emotionally attached to what it is you want to create in 2024. Really get emotionally attached to what you want to have in 2025. Because I just made a reel today on my uh, on my IG. I didn't post it yet. And, and I was looking at the video and I was like, damn, in the end of 2022, I made a decision and I had a vision for myself. And I made that video and I was like, what the hell? This was exactly what I visualized, right? I visualized hitting chairman 10. I visualized being on stage. I visualized speaking for thousands of people. I even visualized the chairman panel, which didn't happen in Croatia, which will happen in Budapest. Actually, it's confirmed, which is honestly nuts. But like everything that, that I've been seeing, which separated me from the rest, is I was always one step ahead in my mind, one step ahead in the picture that I created in the future. Because that's the thing. We as human beings have the capability to create. And it is something I get so many coaching sometimes. And sometimes I, I do, I make it a little fun, right? I get on a coaching and people ask me like, bro, this doesn't work. I want this and it. And I'm like, use your fucking mind, bro. Like use your mind. You are a human being. You're not a dolphin. You're not a turtle. You're not a tiger. You're a human being. And you as a human being, you have imagination, right? But when people start with vision, then all they forget is the, you know, the stuff that, that it really takes to become a chairman 10. And in my honest opinion, it's obsession. It's really obsession. And obsession is something you don't see in somebody's words. Obsession, obsession is something you see in somebody's actions, right? Because I'm, I'm going to get the PowerPoint because I'm talking already way too long. I only have one hour, right? Um, But I, I just want to inspire you with with like more my journey and, and more with the things that I uh, that I did actually to, to get where I am right now. And actually all the points, it's funny, all the points that Tarek asked me will come inside the training. Bro, can you let me sh uh, share my screen? Yes, bro. Perfect. Because this one I didn't show last time, right? Hold on, this one. I didn't, sh I didn't show any PowerPoint, by the way, on the call with uh, um, Daniel, right? No, you didn't, bro. Okay. It's just, guys, my, my like, um, uh, my memory... It's getting messed up because I, I'm, I'm just working too much. But anyway, so, you know, when we're talking about obsession, I did nine, no, nah, more than nine. Yeah, like 12 showing the playing calls the last three days. 12. 12 times I showed for one hour straight the, the, the business, right? And I was thinking about myself, like, why am I still doing this even though I hit chairman? But why did I even do it before I hit chairman? And I did it with a person, actually, because she was one of the potentials that I wanted to work with. And I've been doing potential calls the last couple of days as well. And every single call that I did with certain potential with people that just started, I was like, why don't you have the chairman vision like I had it in the beginning? Like, why are certain P1s of our organization still not so obsessed as I was? And then I understood that it really takes the obsession. Like, in my honest opinion, it's... It's it's chairman ten or nothing. It's all or nothing, right? Because in IM you have that one percent of the people. You know what the one percent of the people will be? The one percent of the people will be the chairmen. And that's why I I started understanding that for me to become a chairman, you have to do even with 
You have to work harder than Tarek. If he's outworking you, right, that's not a good sign. I've been always outworking my mentor. My mentor is a P2000, right? It's not that I say it, it's, it's my actions speak louder, right? Because that's that's one of the things that most leaders should do is speak so loud with your actions that I cannot even hear you. Speak so loud with your actions that I cannot even hear you. Because, you know, for me, this whole, hold on, this whole journey, it wasn't easy, okay? I'm just a normal guy. I, here's a video. I used to work at Snipes, right? I just used to work at Snipes. I was selling shoes. I used to play very high level handball. You all know that, right? And here you can see it was 31 December 2020. And I wrote down, been a rough year, seen a lot, learned a lot, got some big plans for 2021. You know what the funny thing is? I didn't have any plans. I just made a commitment. I just visualized a lot of stuff. But the things that I learned from the beginning of my journey, right, which are very important as well, is always every single day, it's a decision. Every single day is a decision. Every single call is a decision. For example, right, so I don't blame anyone if they don't have a camera on, on a, in a different country. In my team, if you don't have a camera on, you're getting out of the call. Because if you make the decision to go chairman 10, you have to treat it as a chairman 10. No chairman 10 would ever have his camera off. Never, right? So that this is you have to make. And that might be a bashing way of saying it, but that's a fact, right? Like I said, you have to be obsessed. You have to be different, right? I was always behind my laptop, behind my, my desk. I was sitting here taking notes day after day after day. And I made the decision in the beginning. But now, again, I'm making the decision for Budapest. I'm making the decision for 2024. But what's always important if you want to make a decision is after the decision you make, speak with your actions. And my action is always, I, I have to give up to go up. I always gave up my stuff to go up. I quit my job. I quit my school. I quit playing high level handball in my first couple of weeks inside of this business. Because Kevin Trudeau always talks about what is your willingness to learn and what is your willingness to accept change, right? And also listen to your heart, which is very important as well. because. In the end of the day, if we're talking about Chairman, like, let's be honest, guys. Chairman 10 will always check off almost every single person's goals. The location freedom, the time freedom, the financial success that you have, the impact and the personal growth, which are for most people the most important things. Because with the money, they can help their parents. With the money, they can travel. With the money, they can do anything that it is that they want. And with the personal development, they can be proud of themselves, make their parents proud. I mean, I've been doing goal setting for the last three years, and I just understood that chairman is the way to actually do that, right? But but it's sometimes just so hard to, to be really realistic in the moment and just understand that if you want it, you have to be different. If you want it, you have to, not 99%. I don't go for stuff 99%. It's 100% or 0%. Either one of those two. And... I, I, I asked myself, like, my mentor, he has an organization of 1,200 people. He's a P2000. Why me? Why didn't he hit it first, right? Why didn't hit the P5 from, from Belgium? Yarit hit it before me, right? There were so many people when I got started that were P2, P1, P5, and I was unranked. They never hit chairman. Why did I do it, right? But also very important is if you want to take the big step and make a big decision or sacrifice things, Sometimes you just have to do the things that are scary because the things that are scary to do are always the most important and best things to do. Because I understood that risks, a risk is just an illusion. A risk is more in your mind than there is in reality, right? Because let's say 2025, I'm chairman 50, okay? I'm chairman 50 and you didn't make the decision in the end of 2023, you didn't go all in, you didn't set up the vision for yourself, and you didn't like really push through and become obsessed. And two years later, you look back and you're like, why am I still on the same place? Right? Because something my mentor always tells me is, look, where you are right now is exactly where you're supposed to be. Because you created it. If you if I deserve to be a chairman 25, I'll already be a chairman 25. If I deserved to be a seven-figure earner and have seven figures, I would already have it. And that's why in life also, we get what we deserve all the time. Right? So the question is that you ask yourself, like drop a one in the chat if you can say that like in 2023, like you gave more than, you gave it your all, let's say more than 
let's say you can definitely truly say you gave more than 80% of your effort in 2022. Who, who gave less than 80% in 2023? Which is also fine. I mean, I have some moments, right? But you know the fun fact? The only moments I didn't give my 100% was just when I when my health was bad or when I was sick or when I was depressed. The rest of the time, I gave it all. If you if you knew my schedule when I was P5 after Croatia and before Croatia, I was at the office at, at in the morning. Literally at the office in the morning. Uh, I think it was around 8 a.m. or something. And I left the office at 2 a.m. as a P5000. I had so much law familiarity. Like I was close with my P600, P150s, unranked, was doing showing the plans all day. I was full with calls. But I was so obsessed with hitting it. And then the funny thing was, when I hit it, it didn't feel different. Why? Because I just was so obsessed. Right? I was already so obsessed with, with making it happen. And that's the thing that you should have for 2023, 24 as well. Is like already be obsessed with what you want to achieve. So here I have a video, for example, of one of the offices that we have. And this was literally in the beginning of my journey. Right? It's a big freaking office. This is one is crazy. <laughs> It was like pretty freaking big. It was like literally in that in, in that whole office, you could have like 100 to like 150 people in it. And, you know, in the beginning, by the way, like my first couple of days, I was only trading, you know, only focusing on trading. I didn't even know what building the business was, but I hit P600 in two weeks. And what I would recommend to you, because this is all IBOs in the call, right? If I'm not mistaken. Okay. I've been observing last three years, right? All people in my organization, if somebody in a different country, they ranked pretty fast, I asked them questions as well. But if you want to go from zero to P600 in the next couple of weeks, it's all about your schedule, to be honest. It's all about your schedule. Literally show me your schedule the next couple of weeks and I will show you how you will become a P600. Because... I went from, I mean, you know, like I said, the day I knew what building the business was, two weeks from that, I was P600. And I reflected on it and I was thinking about like, how could I do it? And like I said, first of all, it was the obsession. Second of all, it was literally the work ethic that I did. And the third thing was leveraging. Because in my organization, I don't, I want to keep everything duplicatable, right? I want to keep everything duplicatable. I want to keep it very, very simple. And inside of this business, it is actually very simple. If you're obsessed with a certain goal, like, like they say in Think Great, right? You need to have a burning desire for it. And then after that, you, you put in the work, but like really sacrifice hours and hours and you invite like your life depends on it. The how doesn't matter at some point. The how literally doesn't matter. Because I had a call with a P5000 a couple of weeks ago. No, it was a couple of months ago. Hold on. Time is going fast. I think it was like one and a half months ago or something. And I had a P5 of mine that was very close. And we got in this call with this P5. And it was like a call to motivate us and keep us moving because we wanted to close his P5 that night. And he was 15 people away from P5000. His name is uh, Sanchez. He's from, um, from France. He needed 15 people. And he was sitting at his desk with his laptop. And Guillaume, his chairman 25 upline by then, called him and said, hey, Today, you are not leaving your chair until you hit your P5000. But he said, like, uh, but I but I need, like, 15 people left. And Gio said, doesn't matter what happens. Today, you're going to create history. You, he, he, gave, he gave some practical stuff to him as well. And he sat there. It was 1 p.m. back then. So it was, like, you know, beginning of the day. 1 p.m. And, and he showed on the PowerPoint, he showed... Call after call after call after call, like like short calls with people, right? He did it calling with like iPhone call. He did it on IG. He did it on Snapchat. And 3 a.m. at night, he hit P5000 with 15 personal signups. And that was the moment which really clicked for me. Literally, it doesn't matter how stuff happens. It only matters why you want certain things to happen, right? Why you want? Because... I see it like this obsession, people that are being obsessed, why do they get the results, right? 
because I, I believe in one thing is that somebody is watching you every single day. Somebody is up above is, is watching your whole life and is just checking out how bad does this person want it? How many actions are they putting in? And also like, what do they want to sacrifice, right? What is their willingness to, to accept the change? And I think that's why it's very important to understand like it's, it's the, the 16th of December, right? We're still at, at the half of, of the end of the year. I wouldn't say like, hey, my goal is P600 for next year. Your goal should be P600 before the end of the year, right? Because if you hit, if you hit your goal before the end of the year, the dopamine that will be released inside of your brain will actually make sure that the whole momentum energy that you will get as a person, like every time that this new year, we have this new energy. But what if you already have that certain energy before you end the year? And that's why I think it's very important to start really for the girls on here. Like I said back then, TikTok. I hope you already start doing TikTok as much as you can. Literally, it, that's literally the way all my girls in my organization are, are like, they're popping off, right? I have this new girl in my organization. She joined last Monday. Uh, she's the girl, like I said, the potential. We already did like nine or I don't know how many how many showing the plans we did. It was only C-list people. It would only call people because what did she do? She just threw out one TikTok on, hey, I'm starting this new journey. Uh, I'm going into trading and investing. Hit me up if you're interested. Pretty easy, right? Pretty easy. Then, also next to that, what's very important is what I always do, still I do this. My list that I made, like back then, I always make a new ABC list. Always go back to your contacts that you had in the beginning. Always, I hopefully you guys know what a pipeline is, right? Probably when the moment when you, you know, you don't sign up a person, you put them in your pipeline, you keep in contact with them. I think it's very important to understand that in 2024, like people don't set goals in august they don't set goals in november people only set goals in january and people only want new things probably in january most of the time you know how many people are right now at their home that need your call that actually need your message literally that's a fact right so really be be aware of it and make sure that you make a new list for yourself make a plan for tiktok for the next upcoming week do home events start doing home events Maybe get everyone together, go sit in the coffee bar and start doing power hours as well. Like we have been doing power hours the last couple of days. All of our offices, we just did one training in the, in the beginning of the day and afternoon. And people have been calling for hour after hour after hour after hour. Why? Because we started calling people and say like, hey, I know you didn't want to have a change maybe in 2023, but 2024, this has to be your change. You have to change to make the change. Because the, all the people that you invited in the beginning of this year, all the people that you have been inviting in, in, in the summer, all those people probably lead it right now, right? Because for me personally, January, February, and March are the most important months for me, for me personally. Because those three months will depend on what I will achieve in the rest of my whole year. But it's the preparation that I have in December that ultimately creates that. So what are some important things? Like I said, first of all, show me your schedule. I will show you your future. Second of all, leverage Tarek as much as you can. As much as you can. Like, you got to ask yourself, like, how coachable are you with him? I, I learned in my journey that I always had to be the most coachable person in the room. I was probably, some of y'all know the, um, the theory. It's called Prison Break. Then this guy takes out his, like, his pocket, and one of the guys, like, takes his pocket. That was literally me with my mentor, right? And I still do that. I was at the uh, I was at a dinner with Ilya Zubix, um, Maurice Sommer, Julian Kushner, Jonathan Lopez. They, I think it was Elias Owusu, um, Adrian Kulna, and some other guys. You know what was funny? I was the only one taking notes in that whole table. I was sitting there as a child of being an unranked person, just being new in the business. I had my notebook with me, and I I, I wrote like four or five pages full. My phone as well. But I wanted to be coachable. I wanted to learn from them. Like constantly, every single day, I want to learn from the people that have what I want, right? And that is also very important for 2024. But it's also important, like, did you, I don't know if you guys do that, but like, did you ask him to make a game plan for the next two weeks? I asked my mentor today. Today, I was with my mentor. He's a P2. I don't care. 
because he still has certain things. I asked him, hey, what are the things that you observed from me the last couple months, right? What are things that you think are my strengths right now? I, I'm trying to ask questions. I'm trying to grow. I'm so competitive with myself, right? And also my journey, this is more what I learned in my journey is, is create the five, right? Is hopefully you, like, you should have an accountability partner always, right? You need to have that one person that keeps you so accountable because, you know, Jurgen keeps Anthony accountable. Matthew Rosa and Jason Brown kept each other accountable, right? Me and my mentor, we keep each other accountable. Andrew Tate and, and his brother, they keep each other accountable. And that's why it's very important to have, most of the time, five people around you, right, that hold each other accountable. But you need people for the next two weeks to keep you accountable. Because inside of this business for 2024, the success formula that there is, is just attend, apply, and achieve. That's it. I mean, with the things that I've been hearing that will be coming in Budapest, right? It's just attend convention, apply everything, and you will achieve everything, right? Because we have an incentive. Uh, we have an incentive in, uh, in Netherlands, which is uh, twice a year. And the funny thing is, it took me five times to be on Momentum House to be a chairman 10. And it's also five conventions for me to become a chairman 10. It took Anthony five conventions to become a chairman 10. Okay, Jürgen did it in not even one convention, he did it in six months, but you know, Jürgen was different than the rest, right? But I think that's why it's very important that for the next upcoming weeks, right, also attend Tarek's coaching, his mentorship. I, all my life, I've been asking for mentorship. All my life, I've been asking for more growth. We probably already talked about this one, um, but this was the event I had in Portugal back then, right, Porto? And it's, it's crazy because back here, I was P600 and said, give my team two to three years. It was 2021, right? And we will be chairman. And we were screaming, oh, I am a chairman. Well, we hit it, definitely, for sure. But like I said, you know, I was always in the beginning thinking about much bigger stuff, much bigger organization, much bigger event, much bigger team partners, right? The, the team that I wanted to have, you know, back then, this was the first Super Saturday I was ever at. Uh, only my mentor, me and Naima, are the only one left from this whole group. And my members were like, I think there were like two or three members of my whole organization there, right? And why I show this is because maybe you didn't have a big organization with you in either Rotterdam or either Croatia, but 2024, that will change as well. That will definitely change as well. Because here, like I said, I don't, I didn't have a lot of people with me. But you know what the funny part was? Because I had some people with me at that Super Saturday, because I, I saw the vision at that first literally of physical event that we had in Netherlands, because I went to that one convention that I had back then, which wasn't even a convention, it was just an event in Portugal. Everything exploded in my organization. This was 2021, right? This was in November. Uh, this was back then in October. Here, I think I was a P1000 back here. But like you can see how many ranks I created in my organization within this was like five weeks or something. And it went from like, you can see it was like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven P600s. It was back then was at some point it was three P1000s. Even Niels became P2000, I had P2000, multiple P150s. But like I said, said is just just trust the process you know what i've been finding out this is a big nugget some people say like struggles are blessings right but struggles are only blessings if you believe that struggles are blessings some people have vision and then create big things but only if you believe in your vision you will create big things only if you expand your mind and take a step back and really are in the present moment and understand that 2024 you have to claim that you will become successful. You have, to, you have to take it, like really claim that you will have a different year. I'm claiming it. I'm literally claiming for myself that I will have breakthroughs already in 2024. But I'm already claiming that 2025 will be that one year like when the big, big change comes. A very big change, you know? Because that's the thing. Don't predict the future by looking at the past. Never predict the future by looking at the past, right? 
And that's what always kept me going, guys. What always kept me going is helping people. What always kept me going is building this culture. What always kept me going is building big. What always kept me going is my vision that I had. And my vision that I had back then was always to make the world a better place. It's pretty simple. Make the world a better place was always my vision because that's what for the people is about. That's what this business is about, right? If you if you take a look at the difference between a P2 and a P5 is the way they lead, is their heart for people, is their presence for people, right? For for me right now, the vision that I have right now is I, I hit Chairman 10, which was pretty amazing. But just imagine if you create Chairman 10, right? Just imagine if you create people towards their highest potential. That's the goal that I have. That's what I want to achieve. And, and that's a different level of me. You know that I found it very hard when I hit chairman to, to pick up my vision again. I only have my vision till chairman 10, right? But even now I understand that this game has, has levels, right? It's it's still levels and levels that you will get in, but you have to trust that everything will happen for you. You have to trust that this whole process is being made for you to become that person, right? Because in this whole process, you know, you can trust the process but you have to trust, not the process always, you have to trust your why. Make sure to trust your why. Because in my opinion, your why is the only drive that you have. The only drive that you have. Well, my team is part of my why because, you know, before this business, I knew how it was to feel depressed. I knew it, how it was to feel devastated and, and literally wanted to end my life. But this business showed me the opportunity to actually make sure that I could run away from that and not run away from it because I got depressed again inside of the business for three times, but I was able to grow myself up so big and help that to do with other people that happiness for me now is only the growth that I make myself and, and the growth that I see within other people, right? But what my mentor always told me, he said, Luke, they, they did a test, right? They did a test on, um, and this is something that I always tell my team partners as well, if you're trying to find somebody's somebody's why, is they did a test with different rats and they put the rats inside a maze, right? It's inside a labyrinth. I don't know how to say it in German because I don't speak German. But they put the people inside of the, uh, the rats inside of a maze and they had the rat run through the maze to find, you know, the exit. And, you know, the first rat, it took it like seven or eight minutes to get out. And then at some point, they they put like cheese, like the, the smell of cheese on, on the end, right? They put the smell of the cheese in, in the end of the, the, labyr the labyrinth, whatever it's called, right? And now it, it really wanted the cheese, right? And it got out in like five minutes. Then what they did is they had one rat in the labyrinth and there was like a cat behind him. It was the, the smell of a cat. And he started running, running, running. And within three minutes, he was out. Then at some point, they had one rat with and the cheese and also the uh, the cat behind him. He was only one minute. Why? Because our goals are the cheese where we are running after. And our why is something that is running after us, right? Our, my, my why was is literally one, running after me every single day. Like I was with one of my leaders today. Uh, we were calling and he asked me like, hey, Luke, what does it really take? What, what's like the difference between you and the people that didn't go chairman? And I was, I was thinking like for literally one minute, I was thinking, I said like, bro, when you are sitting with your family for one or two hours, or you're, you're, you're chilling with your friends and you're sitting there and you're feeling like, fuck, I don't want to be here. I don't want to go for chairman. That's the moment you really want chairman. The moment you are standing in front of your shower and you want to take this cold shower and you don't do it. And you're standing on the shower and you think by yourself, shit, I'm, if I'm not getting this cold shower, I'm not going chairman. That's the moment you really realize, realize that you're almost getting like a psychopath in, in the obsession that you have for chairman, right? And that's what, what took it for me is like constantly focus on what it is that I wanted to create, what it is that I wanted in my future. Because how did I did it back then, right? But I can talk about what I did right now. This is what I did. Is I, I really worked my butt off, like literally worked my butt off. And why did I achieve more than sometimes is because I believed more that I was able to get more than other people because I was willing to do the things that most people wouldn't do. This is the 16th of the, uh, September. You know what my birthday is? It's the 16th of September. The grind doesn't stop. I was always working. I was always grinding every single night, 24-7. And I said it back here, right? 
I said, how bad do you really want it? Every night I ride home for 40 minutes at dark, hungry for the next day. I wasn't even hungry, to be honest. I was starving back then already, right? So in my whole journey, and in which we have in 2024 as well, is that you always have struggles, right? But like I said, the struggles will always be the blessings. But the most important thing for you as IBOs is to, sh to share your chairman vision, right? To share your obsession as a chairman. Because if you ask my P5000, Niels, why he became, why he wanted to go chairman is because I always talked about chairman every single day, right? I've been always talking about it, but always focusing on me wanting to go to chairman and me wanting to create this in Netherlands as well. Me wanting to create something big worldwide and I work my ass off for it, but it's the events. It's literally the events that really changed it for me. But back then I didn't really prepare, to be honest. So the moments that I prepared for events, everything changed more, even more than then. So in my second year, for example, I was still showing the plan, having big events, but I still had my, my vision back then. I still was thinking about it all the time. And you know what's funny? My vision always changes after every single six months. I refresh it, like Ida always talks about. And I wrote down here for myself, Ilu Brands will be the first P5000 in the Netherlands. And we had, we had a couple of P2s back then. They were pretty close as well. Why did I hit it? Because like I said, I was always with in mind, like think like it, talk like it, walk like it, speak like it, act like it. And back then it was just growing and growing more. I, I even had a team in freaking Italy at some point. How? I don't know. I even had an office in Italy, to, for real. I had like 30 people. This guy was almost P1000. But that's the thing is like everything can change, right? But you have to be open-minded for it. If you're not open-minded, the, the success, like the, the things that you can achieve, they, they can't even come in. And it's always whatever the mind of man can conceive. If you don't have an open mind, you cannot conceive it. Conceive and bring itself to believe it can achieve, right? And then we started doing tours and tours. There was back then the first convention that I really had. Uh, we were here with like 40 people back then in Barcelona. Then we did a tour. I don't know. I made this flyer. I'm pretty proud to be honest, but still very ugly flyer. But we started doing tours. There was the first tour that I ever did. It was It was after almost one and a half years that I was inside of the business. But because of conventions, I always took new decisions, right? And then it just started growing, right? The team got bigger and bigger and bigger. And as it got bigger, I, I only did one thing every single day. <laughs> I showed the fucking plan every single day. What Ida is doing right now, which is crazy what you guys are doing right now in Germany, like event after event after event, you have to be that person that is doing it as well. If you want to become like Ida, do the same stuff as Ida do it. Okay, I know you guys cannot fill up like 100 people every single day, which is fine, which is okay. I cannot do that myself as well. But start little, right? Start with the small showing the plans on one-on-ones. Then do the group calls, right? Then do the home events, then do the offline events. And that's what I've been always building up. Like, like the three things that I really learned inside of network marketing is first of all, keep it stupid simple. That That's super important. Keep everything stupid simple because most people inside of this business have the analysis paralysis and they just make it too hard for themselves. It's the seven skills, it's the five basics and it's personal development, right? The five levels of leadership is just a basic thing for leadership. You don't need that probably yet. It's just the seven skills in network marketing and then the personal development that comes with it. And it's, it's just how much, it's just a numbers game. Network marketing is also like a numbers game. The second thing that I learned is everything compounds, right? Because you can see this event right here, this one, this one, the, all these events, almost nobody joined back then. It was around July, June back then. This was in 2022. Literally nobody joined for months. Like I, I was uh, in January 2022. You know, it was uh, I joined 16 January 2021. 2022 January, I was four people away from P5. I don't know how we didn't close that. But yeah, I dropped back, dropped back, dropped back. And for weeks long, literally weeks long, my, my business was not going up. It wasn't going up. But I kept showing the plan and showing the plan. And at some point, everything that literally changed. Because like I said, consistency really compounds. It's this consistency, right? If we if we plant a seed, we have to consistently give it water because otherwise it will die underground. You know, what I've been seeing with, with a lot of people in my organization, 
is they start this business, they plant their seeds, they give it water for 30 days, then leave it for giving water. And then after one or two weeks later, they don't plant any more different new seeds. They don't renew the seeds. They keep giving water to the seed that they put in the ground in day one. But the seed already died under the ground because you didn't give it enough water, right? So you have to always plant new seeds because every seed will have its root at some point, right? That That's very important to understand. It's, it's every seed that you will give the right amount of water, that you will give the right consistency, that you give the right environment, it will give you the fruits. But it's also very important then to not only focus on the work, like I said, but also speak your goals in existence. Like I said, claim everything for yourself. And I think what I told my leaders the last couple of weeks is that they have to like literally work so hard until Budapest that their gas is fully off. Like that they have no gas left. They're, they don't have any energy left. Why? Because convention is always a gas station. Some people see it as the moment where you go next level. No, it's just, it's just a pit stop. Don't wait for Budapest to change your life. Trust me. If you wait for Budapest to change your life, you have to wait for 2025 and then maybe go. Because it's the first, it's like the same thing with Q4. Like if you end Q4 bet, you will start 2024 bet. If you begin 2024 bet, the whole year will be bet. Because like I said, you didn't plant the seeds enough, right? And then at some point when, that that's the same thing with like momentum, right? Momentum is always a wave. It's always a wave that comes. But understand that momentum, when the wave comes and you don't have your boat in the sea, it won't go. It, you, you will literally miss it, right? You know, I mean, I, I started back in 2021, you know. I was already back then, I don't know how, I was recognized as a P150 on Alex Morton's story. Literally don't know how. Um, <laughs> But yeah, you know, almost three years later, I, I was recognized on his story as a chairman then, right? And I always visualized it. I've always been working towards it. It was the hard work. It was the vision. It was the why that always kept me going. It was the people that, that got me surrounded. It's, this, it's the keeping it stupid simple. It's the compounding. And also what's most important is keep everything just duplicatable. Keep it everything duplicatable because this is a game of duplication. We have to teach our people and our organization what we know. And sometimes I see people make it so hard that they their organization just doesn't know what they're talking about. They are really confused. So I would say, like, take this as just as an inspiration, right? Just take it as an inspiration because, like, I, at some point, maybe one call I can do that in, in, like, the future. Man, if I go deep into all the things that I had to sacrifice, <clears throat> if I go, like, really deep in all the struggles that I had, some people would be like, damn, like I have notes, literally notes on my phone where I talk to myself uh, with, with like uh, texting and pff, maybe I can take some of them. But it was like, it was dark shit. Literally, literally freaking dark. I think I have some in there. Oh, here I have one. Okay. I hope you're ready for it. Um, I think this was, oh, here, 2022. This was the... 20 uh 24th of december no, i'm gonna take one before that even before that because i have one is like still when i read it i get like goosebumps because i just don't you know some people still like damn you had luck and i was like i had everything but luck to be honest guys i had everything but luck i will just write the write this uh, this was I don't know what that means. Uh, it's the 30th of like June, I think. And I said, I will get reward for the pain that I go through. One day it will all make sense. The only way I lose is if I quit. There is no, there's always light at the end of the tunnel. No pain, no gain. In one or three years, it will make sense. Then literally a month later, I'm in hell right now, but staying here is no option. You have to die in order to go to heaven. Let me tell you one thing, bro. We will use this pain to fuel us. We will get the rewards for the pain that we go through because God is ordering the steps for us. We are being prepared for the blessing. Then I wrote down, we are still in pain, but we fuel this. It's all about the experience that is part of life. It won't be night for long because the sun will come up. And it was just like, pfft. and then the 24th of December, 
I feel like that I'm in a transition of becoming a new person to see more about who I am. I think it's part of life, but it's scary because I don't see where I'm going, to be honest. All I can do is have faith and walk with him. Because that's the thing, right? Faith in this business is crucial. It's literally crucial to sometimes have, right? But in this call, like, I've been watching the cameras, right? That's why I always say, like, put your cameras on. I can see in somebody's eyes if they have the fire. I can, you can always see it in somebody's eyes, like how bad they want it. It's always the people knocking in the calls that become the successful people. That's funny. It's literally always those type of people, right? It's always the people taking notes all the time. It's always the people that they just say like, no matter how hard life hits, I just, I'm, I'm just keep, I'm going to keep going. 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 Because don't forget one thing. The industry is right now at $200 billion, which is bigger than the gaming music and movie industry together right you, you see ugc content creating coming up still people doing e-com and that stuff but don't forget when you would be in crypto in 2020 2013 nobody would say like hey you're lucky you're in a good position right and still no, not many people are like do you ever see like somebody uh in, in like you never had at school somebody that said like hey I want to be like him because he's doing network marketing. So it was always like, I want to become like he because he is doing e-com because he is doing trading. This industry is predicted around 2026 to go to $600 billion, which is a 3x, a 3x. Which means that this industry is already freaking big, but it's going to become bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger because what do we do with this business right i'm gonna i'm gonna draw it out for you i didn't know if i draw it out the last time like i said my memory isn't that bad good but like this is a business right you have the ceo right you have the managers and all that stuff you know what i am is doing turning it upside down and people are being aware of it why because employees serve the ceo what we do is the leaders serve the new people. We serve everyone in our organization. And that's the thing. Like, we don't have the biggest... Europe is just on literally the beginning. Like, literally the beginning. If somebody can go from P2000 to Chairman 750 in one and a half years, I mean, Jürgen as well, like the momentum that he, they, they have been seeing. Like, back in the days, France had P1000s almost every single hour. P2000s every single day, P5s around every single week. I remember when Germany hit like Chairman 10, Chairman 10, Chairman 10, Chairman 10. This business is just a champagne bottle that will be popped every single one, two or three years. And first of all, it has to be open, then it has to be shaken. And when it pops off, the lid goes off, it, it blows away, right? It always blows away. But the next pop that you will have in Germany, the question is, will you be the one that's popping out of it as well? Will you be one of those chairman 10s, right? Will you be one of the chairman 10? Will you be one of the chairwoman 10? Will you become one of those successful people that can say like I did at my recognition? I said, mom, I told you I could do it. Now you're like retired. I told you three years ago I would retire you. That, that's the thing that you want to create, right? So I, I don't know what your why is i don't know what what it is that you do this business for but trust me it will make sense at some point at some point you will look back and you will be you will be proud of yourself for sure but like i said be obsessed and stand out of the message by working hard always doing one more right be, i mean everybody talks about it do one more do one more but talking about one more doesn't work doing one more does definitely work right so I hope some of the things that you could pick out of this call can help you and, and can inspire you to actually understand that 2024 is literally your year and it's literally the year where you look back in the end of the year and you think by yourself like, damn, I'm, 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 I'm so grateful that I, that I really took it serious. I'm so grateful that I took the opportunity. I'm so grateful that I sacrificed for, for a straight year. My first year, I can almost not like remember what happened. I can almost, I, I can't remember. All the struggles, I can't remember. Okay, I can remember them if I like dive deep into it, but it doesn't matter because it's just the past, right? And that's why it's always important to create. Create your future. Create what it is that you want to create in your organization. You know what, what my vision is also? In Netherlands, nobody will say, hey, 
I'm in this college or this going to do this uh, kind of school. Now people say like, hey, what school are you going to? I'm in I'm Mastery Academy, why? That's that's what will happen at some point. Trust me, because don't don't forget one thing. Collective consciousness. People are becoming more and more conscious. I I mean, my little brother is almost eighteen. He will definitely join the business. Freaking funny story. I will, I will tell that later. I, I will tell it. So my brother has been seeing me the last three years, and um um this year he should have been at school since September, and um. You know, he took the decision because last year he got kicked out of school. I don't know what reason. The same school I was kicked out of as well. So he's following my footsteps, which I'm pretty proud of. But he had to go to school in September. And it was then the government coming after him, asking him questions. So he said, like, hey, I'm, doing a, I'm going to do a new school. And the school starts at, I think it's the 27th of February. Then, then his new school starts. And the 1st of March, he will become 18. He will, he will quit his school immediately. Like immediately go into the business, go all in, literally make it happen. But like what I always been talking about to him is like all of his little friends are watching Andrew Tate. All of his friends are, are already like putting their money in crypto. Like, I mean, like the whole new... Uh, wave of people, the whole new wave of children, like they're all becoming aware of the system. They're all saying, I don't want to have a job. I don't want to have a job. And that's the thing. We are like literally those people that already probably have an organization, already have the right information because that's the only thing people need. You know, when that bull run comes, oh, hell. I'm, uh, I think I'm going to be like, <sighs> when the bull run is game over, it's literally game over. Uh, for sure, That that's why I have like, I think when the bull run comes, like probably in the next three to five years, like Chairman 100 is done, like it's done. And I already claim it. I'm already open for it, right? Because don't forget, it's a deep one, but this world is just subjective reality. It's just how you see it. So whatever you believe in will actually create it, right? Just check out Arnold, this Netflix documentary. Just check out the documentary that, that Conor McGregor had. And just tell me that they had luck, right? So, guys, I love you all. I appreciate y'all. I hope I could help you with this um, because I didn't have any PowerPoint for all those different steps. But I think that definitely the journey, all the little points can definitely help you. And just make sure because, you know, I'm not the type of blue person, so I don't have anything like step one, step two, and all that stuff. Just organize it for yourself. Make the plans and apply the notes. Because if you don't apply the notes, you were here for 50 minutes or 55 minutes for just a joke. And that's why I think it's very important to apply it. If you need my help, let me know. Make sure to contact Tarek as well and say like, hey, bro, I'm going all in for the next two weeks. How can I make sure that I make this happen? And then uh, I'm super excited to see P1s, as US P1s on stage, uh, as P2s, maybe even Tarek as well as a P5 for sure. Um, in Budapest, I will definitely uh, scream my lungs out for sure. I see all your faces. I remember names pretty good. So I have an amazing, blessed, blessed night. Uh, it's amazing that you guys took the took the time at uh, like 10 p.m. on a Saturday. That means a lot. So, bro, thank you so much. Appreciate you. Love you. If you need anything, I'm always here to help you. Let's go, bro. Thank you very, very, very much for your time. Bro, you covered up everything, everything, every single point. So thank you very much for your time, bro. Um, it's insane. Um, it's one of these cause I, I don't remember a call in the last couple of weeks or months, even uh, where I was so inspired, like like right now. So thank you very much, bro. I like the nugget that you dropped. You said, um, speak so so loud with your actions that I cannot even hear you. So work ethic is everything. You talked about the chairman vision. And I think um, that's one of the one of the parts that is missing also in this organization to have this vision um, for, for your own, to have this vision for, vision for your organization and to also plug into it, work for it, go all in for your dreams. So thank you very much, bro, for your time. Um, I will I will translate now to German. <laughs> guys, switch off and to Deutsch auf mal rüber, guys. Ich bin sehr, sehr excited. Und das war ein insaner Call. Das war ein insaner Call. Um, verrückt, Leute. Ich hab, jetzt halt mal eure Notes in die Camps, guys. Also für real, Leute, das sind sehr geile Punkte. Wir sagen immer, deine Notizen sind deine Uncashed Checks. Uh, deswegen, guys, lass uns vor allem schauen, dass ihr die Punkte vor allem für uns selber umsetzen. Aber um, es war ein sehr, sehr geiler Call, Freunde. Und ich bin für real, Leute, um, immer bei solchen Calls oder wenn man mit solchen Leuten, ich muss kurz das Recording